Welcome in everybody, welcome back to more Elden Ring walkthrough. And in this one, we are obviously continuing the mage within the DLC area. I already detailed the changes that we're making to the mage for the DLC in the previous video. Just a very quick rundown then, here are my stats. Was the screen right now if you need to see it all. Got spell load out on there, we've got the stats, level, as well as equipment right here. Same again, pause the screen if you need to, just in case you want to get yourself set up in a similar way. But it's entirely up to you, as long as you meet the requirements that are laid out in the preparation video. If you've missed that, go back one video in the playlist. Unmissable, technically, it was mostly advice, but in my opinion, you do need to hear most of it. To make sure that your DLC is working, I have heard some people that say they have problems. First off, I know this is a little bit weird to go into the menus and stuff. Make sure you've gone to the store listing for the game and you actually have the DLC downloaded and installed. Sometimes it's listed as a separate thing. Definitely was for me on the PlayStation. I've heard similar things for people on PC. Don't know about Xbox, haven't heard anything about that myself. Once it's fully installed, you'll now have a brand new gesture. So if you come on down, you should find that you have Ring of Mikula. That's going to allow you to know that it's actually working. And now, when you head over to Moog's Tower, so in case you've forgotten, obviously this is in the underground. So for me on the controller, you press R3 to change the map. This is going to be where we fought Moog. Go to Moog's boss fight arena. And we now have a new NPC. It's going to direct yeah, us to go well, into the past. Now this first episode is going to be detailing getting around. We're going to get some graces. I'm going to get you guys a set of armor, which if you didn't already reach poise 51, it's going to help you reach that poise break limit. We're going to get some blessings, which is going to make it so that we can actually do decent damage within the DLC. We are also going to get something called the Blessed Dew Talisman, which is much like the normal Blessed Talisman, apart from it's going to give us gradual FP regen, which whilst we're using the Lusat staff is completely 100% necessary. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab that first as well. We don't really have to fight anything for it, which is rather nice. First things first, though, I want to show you guys something before we continue. We're going to go ahead, we're going to touch this grace. There's two things I want you to be aware of as we're going around. I'm not going to detail where every single one of these is, but just in case you do want to change the way your character is and you've used all of your tears already, your larval tears, if you go to night time, all right, we're going to find in these areas with the graves, there are actually places where larval tears will spawn. If we head directly to the east of the start here, we're going to find a glowy set of graves on what on the cliff edge. In the center of those graves is a larval tear. There are quite a few of these across the game, so just keep your eye out. They're not too difficult to find, literally like highlighted for you in the map. You can have your stats look however you like right now. Something else that I want to show you guys. Without blessings, combat is very tough. We're going to get quite a few of them in this episode. But I just want to show you guys why it's important. Because this seems to be the way the game wants to balance itself. So directly in front of us, between us and the path of progression, is an enemy on an archway. And it's kind of put there to scare you a little bit, I think. Uh, this guy is, in fact, tougher than most of the enemies that we'll see out on the plains, uh, but he is a demonstration of how strong some of the enemies can be, all right? You're gonna see, like we can do some damage, but he is extremely dangerous, very fast. The damage he does to us is massive. So just be aware of that, okay? When we come across this guy and we fight him after we've got a load of blessings, he's gonna be like a little kitten. Obviously, if you have trouble with it, you don't need to find that right now. I just want to show you that these enemies, that they're beatable, but they're not exactly easy for us to get. Either way, you might have seen on the map just there, and one of the criticisms was bring the map up a little bit more. There's where the grace was. We obviously did a pretty much straight line to where the map is. But if you need to go over to where the lava tier was and then come here, that's actually going to give you way less of a headache. And then now we have the DLC's first map fragment. Without too much celebration then, two things we can grab immediately. We have Revered Spirit Ash over this way. This is going to make our Spirit Ashes stronger. I'm unsure whether or not I want to use Tish or the Mimic tier. Maybe I'll have both equipped. I could do that. But something else that we want to do as we're running around, kill these guys off. 800 each just for hitting some dudes with the sword on the, uh, while you're on horseback. Mm -hmm. We're all about that. All right, and so with that one collected, we now want to loop around the cliff. We're going to hit the road, and we're going to loop around until we get to this church here. There's an optional enemy in there for us. We don't need to beat it right now. So it's going to depend whether or not you want to go back and clean this up later, or whether you just want to get the blessings so that we are having a better time in the DLC first. We are going to come back around here in a bit anyway. There's an NPC wandering around in the woods, 
and it's going to drop a weapon for us. So we're going to be back over here in a bit anyways. So regardless as to whether or not you defeat the enemy here, I think it drops its, either its hammer or its shield, which people will be looking for. You will be coming back around this way anyway. There's a cookbook in the tents as well. But because this is intended to give us an easier time in the DLC right here, we're basically grabbing early power-ups we are not going to be grabbing all of that right now just in the same way we're not going to be fighting this guy i'm going to grab that i'm going to leave and head back to the road the moment we can get the map back up again we're just going to fast travel off and make our way continuing on with the dlc there we go we're going out here back to the side of greece a lot of fast traveling a lot of load screens i know but it is worth it and now we can at least demo I've set off already, but we're going to head to the right of this town now. There are a bunch of dudes gathered around, and there's one with a pot on his head. So we want to defeat that guy. He's going to give us an extra blessing. Some of these. It's like mowing the lawn for loot. Aha, here we go. So it's where these graves are. We're going to see a dude with a pot on his head. We need to make sure we get him. You can see how he's all shiny there. Need to get that guy. He's going to drop us another blessing. Deal with these guys if you want it. See the poise coming into play there. And again, saving with the hit on that dog. And that's why I decided we would have slightly heavier armor for the DLC. And now we should be able to see the next site of grace, which is just after the ruined settlement here. We'll loot this probably at the beginning of the next episode. I don't quite know how long we're going to be grabbing all of these goodies for. So being as we are at a grace, let's go into Shadow Realm Blessing here. We're going to find that the first time we get to use one, it's only going to cost one blessing. And I believe after that it goes to two. So we can't do it again. Oh no, we did. Did we? Scattered Tree Blessing Empowered. We didn't get three yet. Can't do it right now though. And then we can obviously go ahead and empower the Spirit Ash. You're going to find the Spirit Ash is summonable a lot. One of the things that I actually had in some of my comments was they wish, people wish they could get more time with the summon. Well now, when you enter into most settlements, you're going to have the ability to take summons down with you. So that's something that I'm sure will make a lot of people happy. Runes wise, we're not ready for a level yet, so that's all good. We have rested, which is all nice, and we are ready to continue. All right, so we've got big guy there. We're not going to deal with that right now. Instead, we're going to cross over. We're actually going to head towards that archway over there for now. And then we're going to take a rest at the next site of grace, which is going to be right next to it. There are NPCs. I don't think talking to them right now does any harm. So you guys go ahead and do that. But I'm going to save that for the next episode when we're clearing these areas out properly. Mostly because I really want to make sure we get the Blessed Dew this episode. Because I've got everybody using Lusat's staff. Everyone's mana burn is going to be through the roof. All right, so we've arrived. Another blessing. Attack the grace is going to make getting around a bit easier for us. And then we are going to go through the archway for the next one. I'm going to keep all of this in. Maybe I'll speed some of it up when I think about it, just to reduce the amount of time you guys are watching for. If you are watching and it's like in the first couple of days, let me know if you want this to be sped up or if you'd prefer it to be something that you can kind of follow alongside. Just like casually getting thousands of runes everywhere. All right then, so up at the top, much like before, tag the, reg tag the grace, can save us some time, grab a blessing, and we'll go. I'm leaving these intact as well. And now I want to head to the south. You guys want to leave yourselves a marker. It's right above this tree right here. That's where we're going next. And we're also going to be going to this pool over here. I'm going to get some more upgrades. It's going to be glorious. So we're just going to head down the cliff. And then jump up where the graves are. Like I said, I'm not too worried about stopping for any of these. We're going to clear through this all properly later anyways. Although I probably will just skip all this stuff. Can't quite one-shot everything. Although once we've got the blessings used, it will be one-shots. Got a grace directly ahead. We're going to tag that. We rest. All right then. So this one's much like the other dude with a pot in his head. So it's going to be a group of enemies. One dude's got a pot in his head. We need to get the guy with the pot in his head. That is the mission here. There he is. He will try to disappear, so you do need to be kind of quick about it. I'm going to loot that. Take some of the sprint frames, thank you. Goodbye, doggy. You've got to go down. So with that looted, we are now heading to the pool, which is to the east of us, pretty much. All sorts of loot all over the place. There's actually a talisman in there. 
but uh, it's going to wait. That'll wait for us. There we are, statue just on the other side of the pool. Veered spirit ash. <clears throat> and then now we can head south. This is going to take us to the Blessed Dew Talisman. Very important, in my opinion. This is actually going to have another one of those crazy dual sickle slash chakram users guarding it. It's up to you if you want to fight it or not. I'm probably going to give it a go because why not? We've uh, had a couple of upgrades now. This may demonstrate that we are now able to do a bit more damage. There it is. Look right there. Ouch. Excuse me. Ouch. I want to get my loot first. So we're going to grab that. For me, that's going straight over this. Uh, I'm not too bothered about the extra runage, although if you really want to level fast, I guess you could keep it on. I suppose what I could do is I could put it on instead of the Radigan Talisman. Where did it go? Where did it go? Disappeared. We're out of combat. All right, okay. We'll reach the end of what we need to get to here. So we're going to come back to the three-path cross over here. And I think I have just low-key persuaded myself. The best thing to do, actually, is going to be to switch this for Blessed Dew. Where are you? Then our point's going to go to Dex to make up for the Radigan. We need 30 levels for that to happen, but it's fine. One of 30 none. All right then. Blessings looking golden. And now we're heading to the north. Tag to Grace. Rest if you need to. I don't think we need to, but... Uh, I don't know, maybe you got into some trouble on the way. And then instead of going into the village, again, we're leaving this intact. So that we can do all of this in proper episodes. Once we're all nicely set up. So we're going to head along this right hand side. Again, I'm going to leave that for the walkthrough of the village itself. We have Spirit Ash. And then we can make an exit. So we're going to get the map back up. Fast travel to the previous grace again. From here, we want to head across the bridge. So there's going to be a bolt thrower on there. It's not going to be too bad, but we're going kind of about here. There's a grace and another blessing that we want to grab. So we're going to do that nice and quickly. Probably should have left those, but nothing crazy there. Kill this guy if we wanted. Missed. Bit of a shame. But then we have Blessing at the statue. And then we have the Grace. From here we're going to turn south. Pretty much. Directly south. Where we're going to go to this cliff face. And that is going to be the final one that we want. For this initial run. This should leave us on one spare scatter tree Blessing. Which is good because we need two for the next upgrade. And we're going to get one in the first Legacy Dungeon that we go into. So that should round out to a decent amount of upgrades before we face the first boss. It's difficult to not pick the loot up. <laughs> Has to be said. We are going to have to come through all this later on. I do like to completely clear areas as we go through them. And there we have Final Blessing. With another site grace. Uh, this dude actually sells a perfume bottle, and there was one in the previous settlement as well. If you guys want to grab that, you can do. But I want to keep that as its own thing. So now, and, uh, grid that, grid that, and we should have yeah one fragment left, which we're going to use once we get into the next legacy dungeon. What are we on? Twenty minutes. We should be able to fit in getting the armor set as well. So we're going to go back to the Scotch ruins, and we're going to go directly to the west. You can see this. Uh, settlement just here on the map that's going to get us a decent armor set that's not mega heavy and has really good poise so if you're struggling for an armor set like you haven't done any of the quest lines, i mean you should have done following the series but if you haven't done the quest lines or anything this is going to allow you to reach the 51 poise threshold real easy and we also have enough upgrades that he shouldn't be too much of an issue for us so I'm just passing all of this. Ordinarily, I'd fight all of this, but I don't want to take too long because we're on 20 minutes already. No summon in here, so 
if you are a caster and you have ignored my advice of turning yourself into the battle mage, well, you're going to regret it in here. <laughs> I have no other way to word it for you. What I am going to do is I'm going to trigger that. More magic damage. I can't actually remember what's in my physic with this character. I'm getting there nice and quickly. His attacks are mean. Not so mean that I can't. Well, craziness. Got a heal, I forgot about that. Look how much damage he does. That's with upgrades as well. We would ordinarily do more than that. We need to get, not get caught by this. Jail Knight, dealt with efficiently, complete with the set of Solitude. So, welcome to Shadow of the Earth Tree. You are now very well set up. We have a good armor set. We have plenty of blessings. And just so that we can have a bit of a comparison, let's go ahead and face our buddy at the beginning again. Make sure we've rested. Although it will be hilarious if he absolutely destroys me now. He may decide to misbehave. We all know what uh, Elden <laughs> Ring enemies are like. Oh man, went in with the grab, of course he did. Four hits as opposed to six. I think we'll take that.